So if you have a slightly modified 212 that you're looking to take to the next level, Makuni carburetor is a great option. Today we're gonna to show you how to install it step-by-step -step on a Hemi 212. This kit is usually $98. However, if you use the discount code, it'll be fine in checkout. Um, I'll put some- We have a discount code now? We do. When did that happen? Now. I talked to him about it. Awesome. It's legit, yeah. Okay. 10% off with code, it'll be fine, at gopowersports.com. So the kit comes with the carburetor itself. Adapter. Yep. Air filter. And throttle cable. It actually comes with hardware too, but we lost it. So when you order your kit, it's gonna have some, some screws and bolts, so but we don't have them. We're gonna have to run to the store. So to get the factory air filter box off, you're looking at two 10 millimeter nuts. Oh yeah, no air filter. Either. No air filter whatsoever. Uh, yeah. I was gonna leave y'all so far back in the dust. I don't even need an air filter. Thinking about weight savings too, man. Hmm. I don't think there is weight savings. Maybe a little bit. So. No, I bet you they're gonna equal out about the same. You can smell the, the stale fuel. The varnish fuel. Yeah. Oh, we need to put a pan under the we thing. We do. So once you unhook your linkage. You got some pliers, ideally. Take that clamp off so you can uh, drain the fuel. I'm gonna pinch it off. So when I pull it off, there will be very little spillage. Spillage. And there's the carb. And it's not reaching. There she goes. So another benefit of uh, doing a Makuni is you get to eliminate the factory linkage, which is kind of ugly. And uh, I guess it'll result in like a tiny weight savings too. I doubt it. Well, you know. But we're removing the uh, fuel tank mainly because uh, Oh, to drain the fuel. To drain the fuel. But getting this thing out of the way. Oh, look, it already it really does to look clean better. it up, yeah. yeah. Linkage that, that we're not even going to use anymore. <clears throat> because the Makuni has springs built in it already. When you take that off, you're going to see my beautiful porting job. Okay. Uh, now, the intake has not been polished. Oh, you ripped my gasket. gasket. Sorry, dog. Cool. There's I'm gonna go set this up somewhere so I can let it just drain. So after you take the carb off and the spacer plate off, you need to remove the head studs. And how do you do that, sir? Well... You lock two nuts together. That's right. And then you start backing off on it and it pulls the stud out. You have to be careful though, because you don't want to strip the head. There it is. Bam, there's the stud. No, I'm right here. Grab a razor blade if you are like us and destroyed your gasket. And clean her up some. You want to make sure you have a clean surface because any gasket that's left behind is going to be a potential vacuum leak, which will uh, affect your performance. Alrighty, so we had to run out and grab some hardware. Your kit will come with hardware, but um, we lost it. Make sure you save your gasket because ours tore and I had to make one. Thankfully, he knows how to whip together a gasket. Yep, yeah, buddy. So now that our uh, adapter's on, we can go ahead and bolt the carburetor on. No need for a gasket from here because it comes with a nice O-ring. Yes, sir. Yeah, those will work great. Now we do need to make sure that this carburetor has a kind of straight. Thought I had, thought I had some twist to it. That is twisted though. Yeah, but I was thinking like that. Yeah, you can just bolt it up like that. No, you can't. That's in the right spot. 
Yeah. Just a little bit crooked. Well, we'll check. We might have to adjust the float level. I think our issue is the engine is tilted. I'm just doing going by how it did on the mini bike engine. This one's had more modifications to it than the uh, mini bike engine. There is a this needle valve is adjustable in this slider. The further up the needle valve goes, the more fuel it's gonna to want to feed to the engine. And it's on the second to the last one. I'm gonna take that loose and I'm gonna move it down to the last slot. And then I'm gonna reinstall. Oh, now we can add the uh, throttle cable. First thing you need to do is you need to put this cap on and that rubber's got to slide over the cable where it'll hold in there tight. Then you add the spring and you compress the spring down and hold it with the best you can with your fingers. And then you slide this thing in right there and when you let go of the spring, it holds it on there where it's not gonna be going anywhere. I think it goes in this way. This thing will only fit in one way, and that's it. And you don't wanna cross thread this, so it should go on smoothly. There we go. You don't wanna force it. And, there. Nice. Sucking up dirt. The fuel line. Look at the fuel. When it starts dumping into the uh, carburetor, it'll be fine. Once you have your fuel situation figured out, hopefully it looks better than ours, you put your pot on it. That's the final step. See, we take it outside. Well, we're forgetting Put about the... one thing. Man. Okay. Uh, testing purposes only. Of course. Yeah. I think we're ready to crank this thing up. Good. So, always remember after you install something like this or mess with throttles at all to jack the rear end up because we've had many a carts run away on us. Well, just one, and then we decided to start using the yeah, jack. Yeah, yeah. And there were other instances where the yeah. jack saved us. Like the mini bike. Carbs installed, we're gonna fire it up. Felt good there for a second. Um, I really don't know what happened. So this has been how to install a Makuni 22 millimeter carburetor on a Hemi Predator. Remember, use the discount code it'll be fine at gopowersports.com to get 10% off your Makuni carburetor kit. We promise it was not the carburetor's fault. It wasn't the cam's fault either. It wasn't oil's fault. You yeah. Know, I, We're going to have to dissect it and see what happened. Well, there's nothing we can tell about. I mean, it's full of oil. We know it chunked a rod. Why did it do it? No one knows. It's the stock rod, too, not a billet one. That could be it. I mean, they say as soon as you do a cam to also <clears throat> do a rod. Weird. So, 
Visit Go Power Sports for all your rod needs and block. Hopefully not cam. Help! <laughs>